Hello, Jason here. And in today's video, I'm gonna answer the question, what can you flush down the loo? So what things can and what things shouldn't you flush down the loo that could potentially block up your entire septic tank and soak away? Well, let me show you. Now, the first one you can put down the loo, and that is um, toilet paper. Why can you put that down the loo? Well, because it's made from wood pulp and wood pulp basically biodegrades you know so as soon as it goes into the water within literally a few hours a few days it just completely break down it's natural it's organic and it's biodegradable so don't be afraid of pulling toilet paper down your loo now that's probably <laughs> one of the only things you can put down there from the supermarket so let's look at what you cannot put down your loo unless you want to block your septic tank and soak away up right okay so this is probably in order of um uh, things that normally go down the loo on a on a day-to-day -day basis so the first thing is going to be sanitary towels or tampons and basically they are a no-no for septic tanks no ifs no buts why because even though they may say they're biodegradable on the pattern basically they're made from very compacted dense cotton and other synthetic materials and they will just go straight into the tank and they'll just float around for a while if they sink to the bottom of the tank then you're lucky but on nine out of ten times they'll just float along the water from the septic tank into the soakway and just get lodged or stuck in the pipe um, or if you're lucky they will make their way into the soakaway and they'll just lie there until they eventually build up and just block your whole soakaway system up in your pipe so seriously if you've got a septic tank and you've got a soakaway you don't want problems do not put sanitary towels or tampons down there okay another one number three baby wipes now, baby wipes, again, you don't necessarily have to have a baby <laughs> to use baby wipes, um, especially during this COVID-19 period. You, you know, they come out like a tube. You can pull them out and you can uh, wash your hands with them, even wash your face with them. They're like the ones they give you after you've had an Indian meal that come in the packet and you, you know, open the packet and you wash your face and stuff with them. Those things, again, they're... Um, they're man-made fibers and basically collectively some people even use them for washing up so collectively again you should not use baby wipes or anything along those lines um, because again they will just block your septic tank and soak away up and the last one that i just wanted to discuss now is may seem unusual to you but uh, but believe it or not a lot of problems result from this and that is nappies, right? Nappies. Now, holiday lets and um, places like that where you've got people to stay, maybe you've got an Airbnb, something like that. People will come and maybe they've got a young child or whatever and they'll just like, oh, where do I put the nappy? And they'll just screw it up uh, and flush it down the loo because I think out of sight, out of mind, you know. And, uh, and that's it. But that nappy is either going to block your loo up right or it's going to go straight into your septic tank it's going to float along and it'll just get wedged in the soak away pipe or the outlet pipe that leads to the soak away and it'll cost you hundreds of pounds dino roll you have to come and dig the soil up and dig down and cut into the pipe and unblock it and so sanitary towels tampons baby wipes and nappies are definitely a no 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 um if you do have um you know holiday lets or air run an airbnb you need to put a big sign up in the toilet area saying do not put any of these um items down the loo you know and have a special bin set aside for them but regarding toilet paper I mean, obviously, if they're putting three or four toilet rolls down every time they go to the toilet, then you're going to run into problems. So generally speaking, toilet paper is fine, but all those other items aren't. So there you go. I hope that's answered your question. What can you flush down the loom, what you shouldn't do? Listen, if you'd like to see more free videos like this one, then just go to septictank.co.uk or go onto Google and type in septic tank TV. You'll see my free septic tank TV channel there. And if you subscribe right to my septic tank tv channel you'll be in with a chance to win 
uh, a product that a very popular product that I sell called Pongo, right? Basically, it gets rid of septic tank smells. It's like um, a deodorant for septic tanks. You know, like we put deodorant under our arms. Well, you can also get a deodorant now to completely wipe out smells from septic tanks. So listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.